Hello, past self. I'm future you, Zoe Chan. If you probably couldn't already tell, it's the year 2050 and I'm 50 years old. Sorry to say that 2050 isn't maybe as exciting as you thought. There's no flying cars, although some people have them, it's only very few. We don't live in space and we don't live in spaceships, so you can remove that idea from your mind. Although some people have been sent to space to find other places to inhabit, like you probably already know one place that we're looking at is Mars. You probably also don't know this, but the future is way more diverse than you think. About 50% of the US population consists of colored people, so that's good. The people themselves have been more understanding and accepting than they have been before. Even though there are still racists and homophobes out there, our country has been better at accepting people than it was a long time ago. Alright, now since we've covered the strength of yours, let's talk about something that you could have grown in. For example, the Privilege comic. I remember you not speaking at all, even though you had quite a few things to say. The problem there is if you don't say anything, you won't get the point, and it'll be more difficult maybe for you to process things deeply or detailed by the time you're my age. But for example, if in anesthesiology, when you put some of them under so you could operate on them, if you do the wrong measurements or wrong doses, you could really kill your patient or they could just wake up during surgery. Let's move on to STEM with Dr. Hines. Remember when we made that mini trebuchet out of popsicles? I remember how good you were at collaboration and being really personable so that everything worked out smoothly within the group to where we had no arguments. This is important because when you're in a group or any situation for that matter with a group of people, group work and collaboration is very important, especially when you're an anesthesiologist. For example, as an anesthesiologist, your job is to put the patient to sleep so that he or she can be as comfortable as possible. And without you, some procedures could be very difficult. But at the same time, the anesthesiologist can't do all of the work by themselves. They need to collaborate with doctors, surgeons, to have successful procedures. Although I know hand-on projects are your strengths, I remember a project in particular that did not work out. And that was when we built the bigger trebuchet out of wood and blocks instead of popsicle sticks. One thing I remember was being really stressed most of that stress was due to the cuts and the measurements that were made. For example, during the bigger trebuchet project, I had made the wrong measurements for drilling holes, so we had to redo some of the wood pieces. But to improve, I or you, us, would need to pay more careful attention to details and measuring and putting things together. This is really important because like I had mentioned before, if you do the wrong doses for a patient, or you switch the doses or you just mix it up, then it could be really bad during the procedure. And last but not least, digital media with Miss Carnes. Remember when you made those cyanotypes? The process that was pretty interesting when we took a picture, made it black and white and inverted it. Then we'd made the light sensitive paper and put the picture on the paper and exposed it onto the sun. That project was fun, but at the same time it was a painstaking process. You did really well in being patient when we actually went through the whole process of making the cyanotype. This is important because when being an anesthesiologist, you have to be patient when you're in the OR. For example, when you go to the operating room, you have to monitor the patient's vitals and breathing, etc. And it's pretty patient because some procedures can take a long time. I think something that you could improve on was when we wrote articles and the ads and took the pictures for our nature theme. To improve, I think you would need to work on time management. For example, during the magazine article, my time management was really bad because I would do everything really last minute and accordingly to my schedule or what I wanted to do. This is really important when being an anesthesiologist because the hours are pretty unpredictable since most of the schedules are completely tied to the OR, so time management would definitely help with that. Although this class may not be an MPX class, it's still really important. Math class with Miss Oki. Remember all of those math tests? The ones where we would use our math homework and the formulas and skills that we have developed to take tests based on the chapters that we had just learned. One thing I remember was doing really bad on those tests, like really bad. To improve, I think that you could work on studying harder. Not harder, but just reviewing over everything the night before and the morning too. And remembering the formulas and not making simple addition and multiplication mistakes. 
this aspect of being an anesthesiologist is really important because remembering the formulas and doing math and both sides is really important for this job because you literally have someone's life in your hands. So I guess my time now is done and I'll see you whenever I see you. Bye!